What's up guys, Chronica420 back with another update here. Today we're doing a little bit of an unboxing on AC Infinity Cloudline series. This is uh, the T4 uh, or S4, sorry. Um, this one doesn't come with a smart controller. Um, I didn't get it with the actual smart controller or whatever that comes with it, the actual full humidity temperature controller, sorry, that comes with it due to the fact that I already have one and you can hook two to one. So, um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to do this video. Um, I've been wanting to do this video on this fan for a long time as I already have a T4. Um, I bought this one, a second one for my 2x2 tent, so this will be running as the intake. Um, the one I have right now on that tent is running as exhaust, so I can get a perfect static pressure, and they will both hook up to the same controller, so they'll be controlled together. And yeah, you know, just be in perfect harmony. I've also actually got a T6 on the way too, which will be uh, teaming up with this T6 in here, and it will be going down there for intake and giving this tent the perfect, uh, perfect static pressure too. Um, I can adjust it to slight negative negative pressure if I want also um, if the smells get a little overwhelming But other than that Let's get to it here uh, Open this baby up So here's the AC infinity. Uh, I think it's s4 So upon opening the box right away you're met with uh, the basic speed controller that comes with it um, I'm pretty sure this one's an 8 speed Just a little one. Um, I'm not going to be using this as I'm going to be hooking up to the other controller dual fans as I said um, also, you got the manual right here that comes in the box. You always want that manual out of there. Um, there's a lot of juicy information in there, like how to actually uh, calibrate these, because sometimes these controllers tend to slip off, so you need to calibrate them every once in a while, um, especially like the humidity uh, sensor on it. I find you can calibrate the humidity probe on it if you get a uh, Boveda pack. Um, say you get the 65 humidity, uh, 65 RH pack, you take that, put it in a freezer bag, and put the probe in the bag with it. Let it sit for like a um, minimum of like six hours or something like that. So it like really sits in. And whatever reading you get, you need to adjust it to 65 because then that's basically 65 exact uh, humidity level or RH. So that's how you would adjust your humidity. Um, for temperature, I usually just get a bunch of other uh, temperature gauges and band them together and see what comes closest or whatever, you know what I mean? But other than that, get to it here. Pull this little thing out. She doesn't want to come out. Oops. Oh, there we go. So as you see, there's your little controller. She's a tiny little one compared to the other one. Um, two little screw holes here. Uh, right there, you've got your power hookup. And then that's where your fan controller, your control for your fan would go into. Um, as you can see, the size difference of these. You know what I mean? Big difference. Um, but yeah, we're going to throw that to the side as we're not going to be using that. The main thing we're going to be using is this baby right here. AC Infinity. Um, that's four. So here's the said unit right here. They actually give you some goodies in here, actually. Looks like you get some, I get some rings. I didn't get this on the last batch, but... I did get these things, it's for securing your uh, fan to whatever, a wall or whatever, with zip ties. Um, also this is a little zip tie holder thing for your temperature probe. So when you put it in your tent, you can stick it somewhere. So that's just a little goodies you get. Um, also in the box you get the charger. That's about it. Um, let's get here to the main fucking part, which is the actual fan. Just trying to get it out of the peg here, guys. So this is your AC Infinity uh, S4 or T4 if you have that monitor with it, it would be called the T4. Um, beautiful little unit. You see she's got the arrows pointing for which way it would be going. This is interchangeable so you don't actually have to, like if you have this unit mounted on a wall, all you have to do is take this little area out and turn it around and you can switch the flow. Um, you don't have to go through the headaches of unmounting everything, it's just two little screws. Also you can take this out and clean inside the fan and everything. Uh, you can't really see inside of there. <laughs> it's kind of blocked off, but um, here, inside of here, you can kind of see the fan propeller in there. It's got a plastic blade. It's a very quiet fan. This one, I cannot hear at all. Um, when you do step up to the T6, then you can start hearing that. Um, I say you start hearing it around when it's up to the eighth speed. Anything below eight, I find it's very quiet, um, next to nothing for a hum. 
I'm trying to remember what the what, uh, wattage is on this. I think it says right here on the control plate, um, right here. So here's your basics of it. Your model AICL CLS4, four inch duct size, uh, 24 volt DC um, power. It uses only 28.8 watts, 1.2 amps. That's just amazing. As I know, like a lot of the um, this is a the AC style fans use like 120, 200 watts, and they're just power power mongers compared to this. Um, this is a DC motor, so it's more variable. Also, uh, it's got uh, ball bearings. It's dual ball bearings, so um, it has a nice smooth draw on it. Um, what else? Speed 2800 RPM max. Airflow 205 CFM. Uh, noise is at. 28 decibels. I think that's at full because, like, uh, if you have this thing at half, you do not hear anything. Pressure 22.7 mmH2O. Protection IP24. And as you can see, all the other certifications there. You got CE, IP44, ROHS, and a bunch of other things. Um, it's designed in California. Um, I bought this off Amazon. I'm going to put a link to it. Uh, what else? This is also. This model, if you have the, the T4 controller with it, it's a 10 speed. If you have just the basic controller that comes with it, it's 8 speed. So just so you know, that's uh, the DC motor allows it to be more variable with its speed. But other than that, that's the unit itself. It's quite a beautiful unit. Um, if you have any more questions, just leave a question in the comments. Uh, I'll leave a link for this uh, on Amazon where you can buy it. Uh, this unit itself was I think $111. If you want to step up to the one with the controller, which is that controller right there, then I think it's about $140 or $150. But uh, yeah, it's not that bad in price range. So yeah, if you're gonna go cop a fan and you have the money, get this one. It will last you forever and it's just the beauty of a fan. Um, takes all the headaches out of things and worries and everything else. So uh, other than that guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't hit subscribe, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Uh, take it easy, guys. For Chronica 420, I'm out. What's up, guys and girls? Chronica 420 back, and I've got the new one hooked up and mounted, and I've got my old one mounted below it in perfect harmony here. Um, basically, the new one's at top. It's uh, serving as exhaust, and my old one is serving as intake. They're both running off the same controller, as you can see. Uh, this controller does uh, temp in the middle, humidity up in the top right corner, and then you've got your speeds, which is 10 for this controller. It takes two fans per controller. I think there's a controller that can take uh, more fans per one controller, but um, I have to double check on that. Also, there's alarms on this that you can set. Uh, you can program it to uh, turn the fan up at certain uh, temperatures if it gets too high. It's a little annoying to do it, but there's more details of that at the AC Infinity's uh, website. If you go check that out, I'll put a link to that. Also, I'll put a link to this uh, product on Amazon where I got it. Um, but yeah, basically that's it, guys. They're just running in perfect harmony. Uh, they're both at the same speed, and uh, my temperature has dropped. So I'm quite happy with this combination now. It's giving me a perfect static pressure in my tent. <laughs> Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Chronica 420, I'm out.